extremely large oval pot I've made specially for my maple, my mountain maple oval rock, which has now outgrown its pot, um, which is a shame because the pot it's in is a very, very special pot. It was a one-off and um, I've got a lot of people after it, but never mind. What I'm going to do to this pot is, here you just see this lovely, beautiful glaze, um, lovely, lovely drizzle, but there's also a hidden crackle on this pot. And to make that crackle visible, I'm going to have to ink it. So the next stage now is for me to ink the pot all over. And here I've got some Chinese calligraphy ink, which they use for their brush painting. And it's the perfect ink. It's nice and waterproof. Um, it's not waterproof. It's um, water soluble. So I'm going to put a few drops of it in here. Just a few drops, that's all I need. And then this time, something I don't usually do, I usually use it neat like that, but this time I'm just going to dilute it a little with some water. I'll put a little bit of water in there. And hopefully it won't be quite as harsh in the final, um, in the final crackle. So my grubby old sponge, all right, good old faithful sponge, which I've been using for years. I'll just put that in there. And now, here we go. And around, and around, and around. And then around, get on the inside as well. There we are. Now I'm gonna do the outside. All round. <clears throat> it's always very <clears throat> alarming when you do this, you know, you wonder, oh my God, have I wrecked it? Well, I probably have, but well, we'll find out soon enough. Right, well, that basically is it. Now what I have to do is <clears throat> take this off and I put it over here, get these things out of the way, their job has been done. I'm going to raise this up a little. My trusted bit of wood. Right, that will bring the water down. So what I'm going to do now is get some nice clean water. Incidentally, I should have said that usually I would do this in the kitchen, but for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm doing it out here because it's a lot easier. Um, at the moment it's, it's, it's a bit congested in the kitchen and uh, so this is all very new for me this is the first time I've done it this way so I hope it works so nice fresh water in there and I'll get a sponge and a sponge Maybe something a bit cleaner than that this one will do and I'm going to in here and get some water and start cleaning incidentally the I should say that the crackle never shows up immediately as well as it does in the end it seems to get stronger as the pot dries. I'm going to do the inside here now. It's not very nice, is it? very evident but when it dries we should get a better idea of what we've got and if it doesn't show up then I'm going to have to do it all over again but this time 
use the ink full strength. Right. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll get the dryer over here and I'll... You can see straight away the crackles coming along nicely. Incidentally, I should say that this is the first time I've used this as well to dry it off, okay? I normally just leave it um, to dry quickly, but you can see how it does change and it does strengthen. But I think putting the water um, in, in with a bit of the, the Sumier ink has um, diluted it a bit and it's given me a very much more subtle um, crackle line. Normally when I use the ink full strength, it's really quite black and very severe but this time because this very delicious little drizzle um, on the top here I didn't really want to lose it but look how lovely that crackle is now almost like an antique and incidentally I apologize for the sound this this dreadful thing makes okay but I'm just going to switch on again I'll just go over it just a little bit more Okay, well that's it, and um, I hope you enjoyed this, um, so if so, please remember to click the subscribe button and the like, and um, we'll be well pleased, okay? Thanks very, very much for watching.